Hello everyone. This is a small demonstration of uh, using cathode ray oscilloscope to measure the frequency and amplitude of AC signal. Uh, in cathode ray oscilloscope, uh, I will only uh, speak about the commonly used knobs or the buttons which we will be using uh, in this experiment. The first one is uh, the level. Level control is used when the signal is moving, not stationary. And this is time based to adjust the width of the uh, peaks in the alternating signal. Variable must be off. If it is on, the signal, the output will be uncalibrated and it will, be, it will not match with the uh, whatever that is being supplied using an oscillator. This is horizontal for horizontal movement. And this is for common. And again here you have switches uh, to select which channel that you will be using. If you want to use the channel 1, here in this knob channel 1 must be selected. How do you select the channel 1? Channel 1 is written above and channel 2 is written below. If it is outside, it is for above and if it is inside, it is for below. Hence, if you want to select channel 1, it should be outside. If you press it and lock it inside, that means you have selected channel 2. Let us do the experiment with channel 1 first and then see. Okay. And here, I have, now I have selected for channel 1. Here also I have selected channel 1. Hence, if you move this, use this knob, you can move vertically, uh, the signal ver uh, vertically using this because here I have selected channel 1, here I have selected channel 1. This is not working now because I haven't selected channel 2 anywhere. If you want to select channel, if you select channel 2, this knob will be used for vertical movement, vertical deflection. This is for vertical deflection of channel 1. This is vertical amplitude. This is voltage base, vertical. And first, let us give an input signal and see what we get. We have, I have given an input alternating signal, sinusoidal signal of uh, 1 kilohertz frequency. Uh, let's measure the frequency and amplitude using CRO and cross verify whatever that we have been supplied. And here remember if now the channel 1 has been selected here, channel 1 has been selected here, channel 1 has been given with the input. In case channel 2 is selected here, here channel 1 is selected, channel 1 is given with the input, you can still see you, you will get a situation like this. And whatever the circus you do, whatever, however you try to adjust the signal to get a single sinusoidal which is stationary using level, you will not be succeeded. Hence, in such situation, make sure that you have selected channel 1 here, channel 1 here and channel 1 here or channel 2 here, channel 2 here, the input is given to channel 2. You can give the input to channel 1 or channel 2 but the same has been, should be selected in both the switches. Channel 1, hence I will take it. Channel 1. Now, I have set it to channel 1 here, channel 1 here, input is given to channel 1. Still it is moving, but if you adjust the level, you will get the clean signal. See. If, if it is not selected here properly, even if you adjust here le using level, you won't get the proper signal. But if it is selected as same channels in both the switches and then adjust using the level, you will get the signal. You have a sinusoidal signal and you can move horizontally using this knob and you can move vertically using this knob. This one. Vertically, this is for horizontal. Now, this frequency base or the time base will adjust the width of the signal. If you fix it at lower time, this is higher as you go and clockwise, you will go to lower. If you go to lower, the width of the signal increases. If you come to higher, the width of the signal decreases. Now, how, where should we keep? We should keep it such a way that you will be able to get the maximum width but you must be able to see two consequent, uh, consecutive peaks, either peaks or the valleys, whichever you would like, okay, to measure the frequency. And to measure the amplitude, you should adjust this one to desired position, any desired position, but make sure you will be able to see the full scale, full 
wave the peak to peak from negative peak to positive peak now how do we measure now let's measure the frequency let's calculate the frequency by measuring the time period to measure the frequency set the either peaks or the valleys to be tangential to the center line because it has been graded hence use the vertical deflections set it to be tangential and then use the horizontal deflection set it to be one at the one of the vertical lines so that we may be able to measure the horizontal distance between the consecutive peaks in this case 1 2 3 4 5 5 divisions along the horizontal scale now the period of the signal will be the total number of horizontal divisions multiplied by time base we have five divisions here and the time base has been kept at you can see it has been kept at 0 0.2 millisecond see that it is 0 0.2 millisecond hence 5 into 0 0.2 millisecond 5 into 0 0.2 is 1 hence the time period of the signal is 1 millisecond 1 into 10 power minus 3 second hence the frequency will be the reciprocal of the time period 1 into 10 power 3 hertz and that is what that is what has been supplied using the function generator 1 kilo hertz okay now you can measure it in the valley that means in the lower maxima as well as you can measure in the upper maxima even if you want to do with the upper maxima set it like this set it to be set it the upper maxima is tangential to the central line where you have gradations and one one of the peak to be al aligned with one of the vertical lines hence 1 2 3 4 5 into 0 0.2 millisecond 1 millisecond is the time period hence the frequency will be 1 kilohertz if you change the frequency in oscillator let's change the frequency in oscillator say i would put it at say 1.5 kilohertz say i have kept it at 1.5 kilohertz now the signal became nearer to one another why nearer to one another because the frequency increases period decreases hence the horizontal width because it, that's a time scale decreased now you can adjust the time base to keep it to get the maximum why do we why should we get maximum why can't we measure it here of course you can measure here as well as here but keeping it as wide as possible will minimize the errors hence now what you have to do keep it tangential it is tangential align one of the peak to be along the along a vertical line yes aligned count the divisions one two three four five six seven point four it's seven point four seven point four into point one seven point four into point one millisecond it is 0.74 millisecond the reciprocal of which will give you the frequency now let us measure the amplitude and calculate the voltage if you want to measure the amplitude adjust so that you see the whole signal you must be able to see the whole signal from the negative peak to the positive peak if you want to measure the period or the frequency you don't have to see if you even if you see just two maximas or two minima that would be sufficient but to measure the amplitude to measure the voltage you must be able to see the whole signal and adjust the position vertical position so that the bottommost or the negative peak is tangential to any one of the line any one of the line of your choice okay now i have aligned it to be par a tangential to the bottommost and then align horizontal distance horizontal deflection knob such that one of the peak falls along the central vertical line which has gradations now the valley is tangential to this the peak is here count the number of divisions one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन पॉइंट फोर नो नो सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स इज पीक टू पीक डिविजन पीक टू पीक डिस्टेंस ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट मस्ट बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ द ओल्टेज बेस to get the peak to peak voltage the voltage base has been set to 0.1 volt hence we have how many divisions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7.6 0.1 is 0.76 volt is peak to peak if you want to calculate the rms the peak to peak voltage must be divided by 2 root 2 2 square root of 2 that will give you rms you can cross verify the rms voltage using a multimeter you can measure the multi, uh, voltage using multimeter and cross check whether the voltage measured in crvo and multimeter matches